All right, Shalom. We're the brothers from the Great Millstone Branch out of Des Moines, Iowa. We're going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shad, Bahasham, Rukah, Gurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai. Is the true, holy, and powerful name of his only begotten Son, who was the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect. Within the nation of Israel, Israel consists of the so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. That may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites, and also want to, uh, we also want to give them honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, rule well, peace and salutations to the hope of the light, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, um, coming at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harbor Kakurash. And, um, you know, it was a lesson I was kind of meditating on a couple of days ago, really, in the spirit, you know, on me to, you know, to, to do it now, but pretty much on that envy and the glory of the sinners. You know, and that's for someone to, uh, Sirach, uh, you want to grab that Sirach 9 and 11, and we'll have that Psalms on deck. All right, and this is something that, you know, is, uh, you could say it's simple to understand. Like, of course, I'm not going to envy these niggas in the world and everything like that, but lo and behold, you have, uh, even Israelite leaders, all right, that are glorifying in the things that the wicked glory in, you know, uh, their street cred <laughs> back in the world and everything like that, man. You know, so that spirit creeps in or you got people that are searching for a, 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 a certain amount of fame and vain glory all right, that they might not have had in the world. And they're seeking for it in the truth and using that as an avenue to 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 fill that void, so to speak, as opposed to, you know, um, as, as opposed to relying on the word and trusting the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and doing things according to what the precept says. They're using this word as an avenue to get vain glory, man, all right, because they want that glory that these wicked people have in the world, whether it's entertainers or whatever the case it may be, but we don't let the spirit, you know, talk. Come on, this is uh, so Rock chapter 9, verse 11, it says, Envy not the glory of a sinner, mm -hmm. for thou knowest not what shall be his end. Right, because at the end of the day, as it says in the book of Joel, I'll grab it real quick, man. You know, at the end of the day, all right, the Lord is going <laughs> to visit the wicked, man, and it says in the book of uh, Job, I believe it's the fifth chapter, uh, this is Job chapter 5 and verse, uh, man, uh, let me check one more chapter. It might be 15. All right, I'll just quote it, but it says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, man. All right, so I, I, in one aspect, it can seem like these people are prospering, that they're living it up, enjoying themselves. All right, but we know the lighter end of it, man. Okay, we know what they're being led into. See, if you're not... If you're not invested into Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the hours and effort or toil or labor that you're putting in into anything else at the end of the day, all right, it's going to, is leading to destruction, man, okay? That's why in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, in the fifth chapter, it goes into the righteous or it goes into the wicked, seeing the, the righteous, all right, receiving salvation and deliverance, and they begin to envy, all right? Mm -hmm. They begin to say, man, how we wearied ourselves in the way that we profited not, you know, in the way of destruction. So they exhausted all their energy into something that wasn't going to profit, man. So that's why we have to have the foresight to know that, you know what? Not uh, having that mindset of what uh, 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 instant gratification, but delayed gratification, man. Knowing that the Lord is going to reward us. So fuck what these people got, how it may seem like they're prospering and so on and so forth. We know what their end is and what we have is way greater than what anybody else, uh, what anybody uh, could ask for, man. Because this is going to lead to salvation. This is going to lead to the protection of your household. This is going to lead you to be taken up into a chariot while nuclear destruction is being rained down upon this place, man. Yeah, I got that joke for you. Kind of, go ahead. Kind of, this is uh, Job chapter 20 and verse 4. It says, what's well, 25? But it says, uh, Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? That's right, man. So it's only for a short time, all right, that it's going to seem like they're prospering. You know, and we and we're seeing the downfall of this place now, man. All right, right before our eyes, man. Okay, you got it. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, "Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night." Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to be for Esau, you know. All right, because he was at the peak of his rulership. All right, and it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, so he's got ruler, rule, he's got power and authority, but it's only for a short time, man. All right, we're at the end of his uh, captivity. You got it. Yep. No, and, and that was basically the point of that, man. You know, uh, 
they, they, like Jake said, they, they do certain things right now and they don't have the mindset, you know, the wicked, they don't have the mindset that they're going to pay for these certain things, that everything is, is temporal, right? We could read about that in the book of uh, Second Ezra, the thir uh, Second Ezra, the third chapter. Second Ezra, what am I saying? Second Peter, <laughs> Second Peter chapter three, right? How it talks about how everything here is going to pass away, that it's going to be burnt, right? I got you. This is uh, Second Peter chapter three and verse uh, nine or verse 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, in all holy conversation and godliness. It talks about uh, the things that we see here, the worldly things, and that's exactly how these people move. They're worldly, they're carnal. They want monetary gain, they want uh, fame, right? They want to be exalted, they want to be seen as somebody. But it says that we ought to conduct ourselves in all holy conversation and godliness. It says, uh, if you can continue reading that. John, it says, uh, verse uh, 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right, so exactly backing up what our Lord Yahweh Shai said, man. Not storing up for ourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust uh, doeth corrupt, where thieves break through and steal, but laying up for ourselves treasures in heaven. You know, where those things aren't so. That's exactly it. Not looking for the, the, the accolades, the, the certain things that come with this world, but pleasing the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Things that are going to uh, resort into those spiritual treasures. Um, you had something else? It's more in that Sirach, but I got something real quick for you. Uh, uh, this is the book of St. John, chapter 5, and verse 44. It says... Uh, uh, it says, how can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from the most high only? Mm. And that has to be our mentality, man. See, we're looking to be honored by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. We're not looking to be honored or or, or, or uh, accepted by the people of this world. When you read about the prophets, all right, like Yahweh Shai, I believe Yahweh Shai said it. It might be in the book of Luke, but it's written. All right. Nevertheless, but it says, uh, blessed are they when they shall speak evil of you. Nice. For so do they. Uh, so did they to the uh, uh uh, the prophets, man, but they spoke well of the false prophets, right? So we already know, man. Okay, so we can't sit here and try and look for the uh, or, or change the message, or right, to us uh, to to make these people feel good or this and that and the third, man. We already know what's gonna go down, man. We're gonna be hated for this word, man. All right, so to try and change the message, all right, for some type of vainglory so that we can be liked, all right, it's going completely off, man. All right, we got to teach this word correctly and directly. We ain't holding no punches, letting it know what it is, man. Yeah, no, that's it, man. That's it. You know, and uh, like like Jake said, with those other camps, you know, it's, it's not to be fooled because during the time you have shy, it was the same thing. These people car uh, on the outside, right? On the outside, they seemed to serve the Lord, but really, they were looking for the gratification of the of the Israelites of the Jews. That's why uh, we were talking about it at camp, right? The Lord said, "Be be not as a hypocrites that stand outside and pray, and they enlarge their." Uh, uh, their borders and their phylacteries and this and that, because that, that's that's not that's not for the Most High, man. That's that's to be seen of men. That's to be seen of men. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna back you up with one more. This is uh, Saint John 12 and 42. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue, for they loved the praise of men more than the praise of the Most High, man. All right, so you had different individuals, man. They strayed away, even though they knew that Yahweh Shah was the Messiah, but they strayed away from him because they wanted to be honored by the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. All right, they didn't want to get put out the synagogues, all right? They didn't want to be uh, talk shit about, demonized, you know? Because to follow Yahweh Shah, man, hey, it, it, you, were, uh, you were being demonized by those uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees, man, you know? So they cared about how their peers looked at them and everything like that, man. What did the, uh, the angel tell Ezra, man? Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. So these people that ain't with this word, all right, that's talking shit, hating on us, man, that's the evident token of their perdition, perdition that they're going to be destroyed when they're coming against us in this word, man. You know, so we don't have to sit there and try and be, be, seek gratification from these people, man. 
You know, the Lord is going to come and uh, uh, show forth who he was dealing with. But we have to show forth that word with that where with him, even if all right, we're dealing with being hated by the whole world, man. What you got back? Come back in uh <clears throat> back in Sirach chapter nine and verse eleven. It says, Envy not the glory of the sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. Delight not in the thing that the ungodly select. It says, Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember that they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. That's it, man. So at the end of the day, man, hey, these, <laughs> they're not going to escape, all right? <clears throat> Whatever glory that they think they have, man. Hey, it says even in the book of Sirach, man, that the, an affliction of an hour all right, can cause you to forget pleasure, man, roughly paraphrasing it. So you got these people that's living it up. The scripture says that she that lives in the pleasure is dead while she living, all right? So these people are living in pleasure, all right, not realizing that death is approaching them, man. Destruction, all right, because it says the wages of sin is death. So they're living this lifestyle going in rebellion towards Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. They're going to be met with judgment, man. And when that judgment starts to come, they're going to regret all that, that wickedness that they were doing, all right? They're going to regret not turning to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Not hearkening to the teachers, mm -hmm. all right? Not laying down their lives as the Spirit has uh, been upon us to lay down our lives, man. When all hell is breaking out loose, or like it says in the book of Proverbs, man, when your flesh is consumed. And they say, oh, how, how I've despised my teachers, man. You know, despised instruction. All right, so that's why we have to keep on the right path, man. Nothing should uh, cause us to want to go back in the world, man. What does it say um, uh, about Lot? All right, what do you have with say, man? Remember uh, Lot's wife, all right? Now, when you read about the story of uh, uh, Lot's wife, when they were leaving out of Sodom and Gomorrah, it was told unto her strictly, all right, to not look back. And what does she do? She looked back. And you look up that word, uh, look back, look back, all right? In that account of Genesis, it means to regard with care or pleasure, all right? So she was caught up with the lifestyle that she was living because a lot had riches, all right? You know? He had riches, substance, what, man? But she looked back, regarded that place with pleasure, man. So we don't want to be in that same mentality, man, because that's an, uh, an example of an unbelieving soul, man. We have to know that there's a reward coming. It says, he that comes to the most high book must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we have to know that whatever you left behind or whatever you're leaving behind, there's greater ahead of you, man. Being the kingdom of heaven if you keep trucking forward, man. Would you yeah. have something else? Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 9. It says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. Mm -hmm. But know thou that for all these things, Yahweh will bring thee into judgment. You got it. It says, therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. You know, just backing up the brother with the, uh, exactly that, man. It's self-explanatory. If you want to do whatever whatever the hell you want to do, you want to live according to the flesh, you want to live it up here, enjoy your best life. You know, uh, it don't matter what they're saying. It don't matter walking according to the word, man. I'm, I'm fine. Look at me. Look at my family. We all good. We're making bread, you know. Well, oh, oh, I'm not going to listen to them because y'all make the, the, the truth look boring. And look at us. We got this congregation and we got the Look, okay. All right. But exactly what it says is that for all these things, the Most High will bring me into judgment. Hey, it says, um, people that help me, help me quote that precept, it says basically, uh, uh, because sentence is not executed speedily. Uh, 8 and 11. As a matter of fact, Come, so, uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, the water. it says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. You know, so here you have it, these people are doing wickedness, they're living however they want, it seems that they're prospering, right? From the outside looking in, and at times in this truth, man, you know, in the flesh, you're like, man, look, look at, look at it, why, why the hell? Is this person, this wicked ass person, you know, with, with how they're talking against the apostles, whether they be in the world and they're just being, just, just being carnal, man, and they're prospering and they're living good and they got, they, they, it's, they seem to be happy and this and that. And here you, here we are serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and it seems like hell, man. <laughs> you know, at times it's like, damn, we can't catch a break, right? But it says because it's not executed speedily, therefore they, it seems like they're getting away with it, but oh. No, we see we got the understanding, we got the foresight, like the brother said, to understand what's gonna happen in the end. That for all these things there will be a judgment. We could read about that in uh, uh Revelation the twenty second chapter, if I'm not mistaken, or the twentieth. 
For Yahweh Shah said, he said, I, uh, uh, Lo, I come speedily to give every man a, a reward according to his works, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That's what the Lord is coming to do, man. That's right. In the time of Jacob's trouble, in the time of tribulation, everything is going to be paid, man. The the, the Lord's going to set the, the, the balances straight, you know? That's right. As a matter of fact, I read all the way through to verse 14 on that since uh, you just made that point. Come. Uh, Ecclesiastes, it's like, yeah, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 12. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh which fear before him. Go ahead. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Right, so it shall not be well with the wicked, man. <laughs> All right. It's not going to go well for these people. Cardi B might look like she's living it up right now. <laughs> it ain't going to go well for her. You know, even with these different Israelite leaders, man, I was listening to the Apostle Ramlob in the spirit, man. He was going into a, a, a your boy from a Sakari. His name is escaping me now. Al yeah, Alazar. All right, chief priest. <laughs> but but anyways, um, he was uh he was speaking about him, man. And the, and the apostle I mentioned, he's like, man, we've been telling you guys. All right, we've been telling you pretty much. Y'all been going the wrong way, and y'all think y'all going the right way. Funny. All right, <laughs> but we gonna see. All right, we're going to see who's walking that right path, man. Okay, so going even uh, to that precept, man, hey, barely, it's going to go well with the righteous, man, but everybody else, it's not going to be a pretty sight, man. You know? Go ahead. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Mm -hmm. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before Yahweh. Right, because he feareth not before Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shad, man. So that's the importance. We have to continually walk in the fear of the Lord, man. All right. Continually walking in the fear of the Lord. You read that next verse. There is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there be just men unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Right. And that's pretty much what the brother was uh, saying, man. And the, why is that happening, man? All right. Because the earth is giving us to the hand of the wicked. Yeah. You could be living up rightly and righteously and still be persecuted, still be demonized. Look at the plight of our forefathers. Look at Jeremiah. Yeah. Jeremiah was like, Lord, man, I can't. I, you see how I came to speak <laughs> for their good before you? And look how they rewarded me. And that's when he turned around and put curses on them yeah. niggas in Jeremiah the 18th chapter. He was like, look, I'm trying to I'm trying to help <laughs> appease uh, 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 the wrath of you to be upon them. But look how they treating me. You know, they threw him in a pit. They was talking shit. All that, man. You know, you trying to live up rightly, man. Family coming up against you. Demons. All right. But what you sitting here, all, all you doing is <laughs> in the room, studying, yeah. reading, living up rightly. And then here it is. It's the same Bible that they say they believe in. All right. And then you actually <laughs> are serious about it. And now you're being demonized, man. But that's what yeah. it says, man. It is happening. This is a vanity that's under the sun, man. But we're in a transition of the kingdom. Seeing the kingdom righteousness is going to be rewarded, man. You ain't going to have no damn sodomite on stage. What a reward. Thank you. I'm woman of the year. All types of madness and shit like that, man. Nah, that ain't going to be in the kingdom that we're coming into, man. The scripture says in that Peter that we read, man, we're looking for a kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. Righteousness is going to be rewarded, man. And wickedness is going to be dealt with like that, man. Harlots hopping from rod to rod is going to be dealt with. Yeah. All right? They're going to be put to death, man. All right? Uh, uh, exalting. You got commercials of damn uh, ribs, sandwiches, and everything like that. It's going to get dealt with instantly, man. This is the kingdom that we're coming into. And those that are moving in as a citizen of Zion, all right, moving in that righteous vibration, that, hey, I don't want to watch Zion. The kingdom will be moving in in its perfection, man. Those that have that mentality, man, they're going to be taken care of. It's going to go well with them. Yeah, well, hey, we can see it, man. We can read about our forefathers, right? We can read about the, 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 the example that they left for us and how they're suffering, how their how they're, uh, veneration, you know, and and how they stuck to the scriptures, how how uh um, how it paid off for them, man. Yep. You know, and how we can live, uh, we can live today, with the mindset knowing knowing how to continue forth in these things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As the scripture says, the things written aforetime are written for our learning, right? So it's the same thing. We have that prudence. We can see it with the men of the Lord today, because the scriptures talk about the repairs of the breach, right? He shall be called repairs of the breach, the restorers of past the dwelling, all for the sacrifice. That certain men upon this earth are making, you know, that that sacrifice that people are scoffing. The brother mentioned so-called family. Hey, to quote the brother Murph, hey, them niggas aren't our family, man. They they just niggas that are related to us, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But no, hey, everybody coming up against us, it will pay off. It's gonna pay off, and it's starting to. Right? That's the it. scriptures talk about how we see uh see the um 
the rewards of wisdom right away, the fruits of it right away. You know, we're, we're, we're reaping it. Look, you, you lose a family, hey, hey, you got the brotherhood, man. You know, anything that you may lose, that's Luke, uh, Luke chapter 18. Whatsoever we lose on this side, we're going to receive manifold on this side and in the kingdom that's to come. Mm -hmm. You know, so there, there's no losing over here. It's all, everything that's written the way that we're supposed to walk is all for our betterment. Even though at times it seems like hell, like we're reading right here, right? We're doing good and you're receiving what you think will be for the wicked. Look, it's all towards our good. Romans 8 chapter. That's right. But it says, uh, there is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there be just men unto whom, unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men. To whom it happeneth according to the work of the righteous. That's right, man. So you got these wicked people that's exalted, being taken care of. They're getting yep. finances, everything like that, man. All right. <laughs> Li hey, living it up, man. All right. But once again, man, see, the Lord is going to reward his men, man. Here it is. These wicked niggas are getting all types of rewards for being wicked. Well, how much more is the Lord going to reward uh, his righteous that have laid down their life for him, man? And what type of reward is he going to give? All right, to those individuals, man, it says, I have not seen nor ear have heard what the Lord has prepared for them that wait for him, for those that love him, man. So let's continue to abide in his love, man. I'm going to grab this real quick on that. This is Psalms 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges <coughs> in the earth. So these people are going to come to that realization. I'm like, oh, man, this is actually a reward for being righteous, man. And they're going to see that reward, all right? The scriptures talk about how our enemies are going to be the hell, behold us, I mean, taking up into those chariots, man, you know? So, man, we'll take the being despised. We'll take being at a lower state. That's fine, all right? Because at, at the end of the day, we deserve this and more. But the Lord is going to justify us. That's what Micah said, man. All right? He said, um, uh, I will bear the indignation of the Lord I because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause. He said, rejoice not against me, <laughs> uh, O my enemy. All right. For the Lord, will, uh, how, how is it worded, man? It's a lighter part of that. But showing you, man, they are our people. They're they going to see it, man. And the Lord is going to stand up for us. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Micah chapter 7. Hey, if I could say real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? Hey, well, there's a reason why Yahweh Shah said, uh, right when you read uh, when you read the Beatitudes and even in that Luke, he said, rejoice. When all men speak evil of you, when they separate themselves from you, there's a reason why he said rejoice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a good thing, man. And we ought to be in that spirit. So when they come up against us, hey, call hello, Yahabasham, Yahushai, that we're able to, to, to even uh, be able to go through this, man. Yeah. Talks about the, how the apostles, uh, how they rejoice, uh, be, that they were they counted were, worthy yeah, yeah. to suffer for Hamashiach's sake. That's it. You know, it's, it's truly a blessing and a privilege to be in the positions that we're in. But that's right. This is Micah 7 and uh, 9, or verse 8. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. So the Lord is going to come in and stand up for us and just and justify us and show forth whom his love was really set upon, man. I believe that's in the book of Revelation, man, where it says that I will show uh, uh, them that say that are Jews and are not, I will show them that I have loved thee. So the Lord is going to show forth that he actually loves us, man. All right, even that, even as the nation of Israel as a whole, but furthermore, his elect, even though we were catching hell and suffering, man, the Lord is going to show forth the great love that he has for his men. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. And I'm going to just read verse 10. This is a staple. It says, uh, then she that is in my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord? Yeah, how will thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as a mire of the street. So all of our enemies, man. All right. To wicked niggas in the world. Whether it's certain wicked family members came up against you scoffing, talking shit. Whether it's a woman that you were with, left you because of your dedication to the work. All right. You was a weirdo or whatever the case it may be, man. To her. It, it don't matter, man. None of that matters. All right. Because when the Lord shows forth that he loves you and he wasn't fucking with them, <laughs> they're going to be in a sad case, man. You know? But that was it on that. Come back into Sirach. Mm -hmm. Sirach chapter 9. And uh, and verse 12, delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember that they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. That's it, man. Plain to the point, you know. Now I got this unless you got something now. 
All right, this is the book of uh, Psalms 37 and 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So the Lord is reassuring us, man. All right. <laughs> through, uh, through David, you know, this is the Psalm of David, man. Like, look, don't fret. Because of the evildoers, the workers of iniquities, our enemies, and so on and so forth, man. They're going to get cut down. Don't even trip about it, all right? Don't even trip, man. When you walk by these different individuals, man, you're going to see a nigga that was talking shit in martial law, all right? You're going to see that shorty that was being a demon to you, man. <laughs> a couple years back, came to the faith, man. You wasn't even thinking about her no more, man. You're going to see her ass get judged, you know? We're going to see these things, man. It says that in the book of Psalms as well. Uh, this is Psalms... Yeah, Nah, nah, not even that one. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, that's a good one too. That Psalms ninety one. Uh, behold, uh, Kevin. right, but this is uh Psalms fifty nine and verse uh, uh, ten. The power of my mercy shall prevent me. The Most High shall let me see my desire upon mine enemies, man. So we gonna see it. All right, we gonna we gonna see, man. We gonna see these people go through it, man. And and the Wadi Al Bashimi I was shy because if we continue in the spirit, man, it won't come near us. Like the uh, the Psalms 91, the brother was uh, pretty much quoting, man. But this is uh, Psalms 37 and 4 again. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So the Lord is going to give us our desires in his purest form, man. You like women, well, <laughs> the Lord is going to give you women in their purest form in the kingdom, man. Riches, honor, hey, even that, even the glory, the, the the fame, and so on and so forth, man. The Lord, once the Lord, once Yahweh Shai gets all gets all His glory and His praise, man, hey, He's gonna He's gonna redound that to uh to His servants, man. Yeah. But we waiting for the kingdom for all that, man. We ain't doing that for no fame and no vain glory. This and that, the third. Now the Lord is gonna give it because that's what that's what it says. He shall give His uh, uh He shall uh they shall get fame in the lane yeah. in the land yeah. where they were put to shame. So, I mean, it's, it's going to happen, you know, for the glorification of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Just like with the apostles, man. The apostles were famous. But what? It was to the glorification of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Even when they got yeah. spiritual power to heal that, uh, heal those different individuals, it was to do what? To bring glorification to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's not what the, even when these guys are getting fame and glory, they got everybody on the common board. That's not to the glorification of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's the glorification of themselves. All right. That's for their own vainglory, man, you know? But uh, I'm going to read this next verse. It says, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So if you're committed to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, he'll be committed to you. Cool. It says, it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, man. All right, so we have no reason to envy these people in this world, man, because what we have coming is, man, beyond words. And what they have coming, nobody's going to want to partake in that, man. Like it says in Isaiah, the 33rd chapter. Uh, who of us <laughs> is going to, uh, it says the hypocrites in Zion are afraid who can, uh, dwell with the devouring fire, roughly paraphrasing that man, what the Lord got coming ain't nobody built for it. No matter how much you lift, it don't matter the mental fucking, <laughs> no matter if you're taking cold showers every day for an hour, man, you can't, you, you ain't built for what's to come. The wrath of the Lord, man. The only way you can endure that is if you're in the safe haven, the shadow of the almighty, man. But I'm not gonna ramble, man. You got something out? Yeah, kind of. Watch out. I'll just read this. Uh, I read the Psalms 91 quick. This is Psalms chapter 91, and verse. Yeah, I'll just get right to the point. Verse uh, eight. It says only seven. It says a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made Yahweh which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall keep his angel for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. That's, that's that hedge, man. Go ahead. Yeah, that's like you said, that's that hedge, man. And at the, at the end it's gonna be what? Them chariots. You know, them chariots, man. Uh 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 cut come in here until the indignation be passed. And we're going to be able to see, we're going to be able to see that judgment, man. These people out here are going <laughs> to, they're going to reap that reward, yeah. right? It says, uh, uh, whether you reap unto the spirit life everlasting or, or unto the flesh uh, destruction, right? Yeah. Believe that's how, that's so how it's worth it. the flesh and you shall reap of the, uh, 
Man, now I'm just, you shall reap what the flesh corruption, yeah, but the so spirit is spirit. life everlasting. You know, and that's exactly it. That's exactly it. And I'll finish off with this, unless you got something else. Or, no, so like, not finish off. But, uh, so, <laughs> Psalms chapter seventy-three, <clears throat> and verse. <clears throat> so like it, verse three, it says, "For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm." They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Right, so it's like these niggas, they doing all types of wicked... Like, prime example, you saw Eden, right? This nigga, we, this nigga is a pedo. He's out there drinking blood. He's killing babies. He's walking around doing all types of weirdo nastiness. Organ trafficking. Organ trafficking. Anything under the sun, that's wicked. Right, you this, nigga, this nigga wake up, <laughs> stretching out, breath, man, breathing good, healthy. You know what I'm saying? Chilling, man. Mind at ease. Money in his bank account. Right, man. He ain't got to worry in the world, man. He can just walk around and do whatever the fuck he wants, right? But go ahead. It says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. And that's why they that's why they are so proud, man. Okay? Because what they don't know, well, it's going to go to it in that chapter, man. But really, man, yo, yo, judgment's just been storing up. You've really been building up a tab. Mm -hmm. All right, so here it is. You at the bar taking a drink. You know, sipping it, telling the bartender, hey, keep them coming, keep them coming. All right. But then at the end of the night, Smack your right, he think he finna just slip out the door. Like, hold on, play now. You got to pay for all of that, man. You done racked up $800. You going to have to pay that. <laughs> so the same thing with this, de hey, this devil's wickedness, man. And he's coming to a point to where right now he's drunk. He's in the, in the club, living it up, talking to shorties. He's having a blast, man. But before you leave, you going to pay. <laughs> So that's what it's going to be, man. But you got it. Con, it says, uh, violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Mm -hmm. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. Mm -hmm. They speak loftily. Right. They talk shit. Like, look, look at you, you niggas. You can't excel. You're dumb. You're stupid. <laughs> All right. All this, man. All right. Hey, we're, we're under divine curses from the Heavenly Father, man. All right. Because of our wickedness and our obe uh, disobedience, man. Okay, but you're going to be under these curses soon. Deuteronomy 30 and 7 to the fullest extent. So we're going to tell you the same thing, man. All right, in the kingdom. Oh, you're not excelling because you're not smart enough. <laughs> then you could be on top. Nah, man. Nah, your ass is, your ass is going to go through what we went through times a thousand, man. But you got it. Come, I'm going to jump down to verse 16. It says, when I thought, or you want me to read through? Uh, what verse you at? I was at, um, I was at 8. Uh, you can jump down. Okay, come. Verse uh sixteen. It says, "When I thought to know this." No, nah, just read through Salaki because I'm gonna that twelve as well. Come. It says, "Um, Salaki, verse. I'm at verse uh nine, verse eight. It says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, his people return hither, and waters." Of a full cup are wrung out unto them, mm -hmm. and they say, "How doth the, how doth God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world." Right. So that's that's the time that we're in the ungodly, where they were, where they were prospering. Right. Go ahead. They increase in riches. Mm -hmm. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. Right. So it's like, man, I'm. Applying this word, man. Hey, the scripture says in the book of Psalms 119, man, uh, how shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to the word? So it's like, man, I'm doing this in vain. I'm following the Lord and this and that and the third. And yeah, the look point? at what I'm going through, right? Mm -hmm. And the scriptures tell us not to uh, not to say that, man. All right. And the book of Sirach, as a matter of fact, but you can keep yeah. reading up. Well, that's 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 a nigga's mindset, man. You know, uh, uh, there's that account in the scriptures where there was uh. It was talking about how they used to bake cakes to the Queen of Heaven. Yeah, Jeremiah forty four. Yeah, man, he's like, hey, when, when we was when we was worshiping the Queen of Heaven and baking her cakes, we, we hey, we had abundance of things, man. We weren't in need, we weren't in lack of nothing. But as soon as we came to serve Yahweh, right? As soon as we came to serve the Lord, then we was in destitute of all things. We were in want of this, and we, you know, we were afflicted, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But hey, that's that Sarag too. <laughs> When you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. That's right. You know, that's you got to right. set your heart to right and constantly endure. Yeah, you man. The, the, that's the thing is that people have the mindset. You talk to a nigga in the world, the mindset is, oh, I don't deserve this. 
I deserve that and I need to manifest this and I don't deserve to catch hell. I deserve the best. No, you deserve death. That's the reality. You deserve death. It says we are punished less than our iniquities deserve, man. And we aren't here to to, to be lollygagging, la di da, you know, fucking Smurfs walking down downtown and shit. No, we're, we're, this is hell, man. This is prison. Well, that's why the scriptures call it the straight gate. All right. That's a path of difficulty, man. You know? And then it says what? Uh, uh, many go into the broad in the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, which leads to destruction. But few <laughs> that find find that path through the straight gate, man, that's a path of difficulty, man. You think the Lord just handing out crowns to niggas? That ain't going through nothing? That ain't suffering? All right, that don't show their faithfulness in the, in the time of adversity, man. But when Jake get in that fire, they show forth that they would hang stubble, man. Mm -hmm. So we can't have that mentality, man. And I'm going to back you up real quick with you on that. Uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 11 and verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. Keep doing the work. Keep serving the Lord. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on a sudden to make a poor man rich. That's nothing for the Lord, man. All right. Here it is, bro. I, man, I, I used to say this a couple years back, man. Here it is. Man, the Lord said we're going to be merry and have abundance. You know what I'm saying? That we're going to be laughing while everybody crying and mourning. We're going to be drinking while everybody thirsty, man. Man, you're going to be walking walking through as a pilgrim. Man, the Spirit going to have you. You're going to come across a mansion, everything in the mansion taken care of, man. Food in the kitchen, your whole family, your wives, whoever's with you at that time. And it's going to be taken care of, man. All right? And you ain't worked all them hours to pay for it, all right? You ain't invest all that time in to get it. What? It was just you serving the Lord, and the Lord freely gave it unto you, man. I'm, man, Jake has examples of the Lord just handing over things to him, man. Just handing over things to him. Where a person in the world would have to fight so hard to get those things, man. And the Lord can just pass it over. There you go. You were obedient to me. Look, you can have that. That's nothing. All right? We're dealing with the <laughs> omnipotent power, man. He controls everything, man. You got niggas there, they'll work all types of overtime and this and that and the third. But then Jake, man, they'll cry out to the Lord and the Lord will drop some money in their bank account. Or right. put the spirit on somebody to come and give it to them. All right, where that nigga had to work <laughs> 80 hours, <laughs> 80 hours to get that. But the Lord just handed it over to you, man. That's the benefit of walking in the fear of the Lord because the Lord will just hand something over to you, man. Yeah. Hey, it's like, a, I don't know why the, the, the visual came up to me. It's like we run a race, right? We're in a race here. You had these motherfuckers. They they trying the best. You know, taking steroids and shit. Right, they right. running their ass off. And we walking. <laughs> the Lord opened a bush. Right, right, right. So now we hey we cross through the bush. We cross across. He opens up the other side. We at the finish line. You know, right, right. How the hell? Right. That's what I imagine, man. Because that's that's this truth. Mm -hmm. This truth is a is a shortcut, man. This got all the answers. Yeah, it gives you full access to everything. Yeah. Limited resources, man. We got access to the heavens. So if you ever hungry. Pray to the Lord. The Lord can send an angel down to feed you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we got access to everything, man. You be in all Texan jams, man, and then you pray to the Lord and he make it happen, man. It's just a trial of faith. Yep. That's all it is, man. It says, uh, Sirach 21, or Sirach 11 and 21, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward. Is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he maketh this blessing to flourish. And you know what I was just thinking about? Uh, I was thinking about this last night, man, with Joseph. Joseph was in, in, in prison, man. All right, he was in prison, locked up, right? Then all of a sudden, one day, <laughs> one day he came back, and I'll forget if it was the baker or it wasn't the baker. It was uh, the cupbearer of the pharaoh. Thought about Joseph, man. Then he interpreted the dream, man. So he went from the day previously being in prison to being uh, under Pharaoh, man, all right, second in the kingdom. And he he was given all types of riches and everything all of a sudden. But see, that's how our Lord works, man. Mm -hmm. you know, look, 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 at it, look at everything else, right? You mentioned Joseph. Look at King David. One day he was, he was tending, hey, there was, there's like a quote that I seen a while ago. It's like, man, one day David was tending sheep. The next day he was, he was king, yeah. you know? Uh, uh, you look at Peter, right? He was a fisher. The mm -hmm. next day he was following Yahweh Shad. Uh, uh, his whole life, this man was blind. It took one day, one day for him to cross paths with the Lord, and the Lord healed him, man. Yeah, that's all it takes. It takes faith, and it takes that. It takes that day, man, the day of the Lord. Yeah. Like what, what, whatever day the Lord seems fit, He'll switch it up for you. Mm -hmm. If you got the faith, if you believe. Yeah.
You, know? you got to show that pattern of it, that pattern of faith. Yeah. And then the Lord comes in and does those things, man. Because you can't sit here all this time. You've been a wicked ass nigga and you just think the Lord going to flip the switch for you. Mm -hmm. It's that consistently serving the Lord. The scriptures talk about showing a pattern of good works. You show that pattern of good works. Then that's when the Lord comes in with those miracles. All right. Nah, he really for real about he really for real about this. Then I hey, then the Lord comes through, right? But I'm gonna finish on this. Uh, uh Sirach chapter twenty one and verse uh twenty three. Uh, say not what profit is there of my service, and what good things shall I have hereafter? So don't don't have that mentality, man. Believe, have faith. It says you that coming to the Lord must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him, man. So we gotta have that faith that. Hey, the Lord will give every needful thing in due season, man. Whatever he commands, he's going to accomplish in due season, man. So if the Lord said that he's going to reward us in his season, man, all right, when he sees it fit, and this is going to back up that point from uh, uh, that Psalms as well. This is uh, Malachi chapter 3, or more might have been a point, I can't remember. But Malachi 3 and uh, 13 says, Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet you say, What have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said it is vain to serve the Most High. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And that's our people's mentality, man. They're like, man, what profit is it? All right, us going through this and suffering and we mourning, man. They just said, what profit is it to serve the Most High, man? All right, <laughs> we can't have that mentality, man. Hey, guys that fall away, they end up having that mentality, man. Ain't no profit in doing this. You know, give up. We can't have that mentality. It says, uh, and now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they they that tempt the most high are even delivered. So our wicked, the wicked of our people are like, man, look, they, they talking shit. They wicked and they still living it up and this and that and the third, man. So they're like, what profit is it, man? That's what niggas are saying today, man. What, what is this going to do for me in, 20, in, in 2023? You know, what is this going to profit me, man? Well, you're going to see. When the Lord uh, exacts his vengeance and his wrath upon this place, man. But that was it on that. You got it back, Joe. Yeah, no, man. That's pretty much it. You know, you, you read that. And then it, it speaks about how that book of remembrance was made. Right? And then later it says what, like, what, what, we, uh, what we read earlier. It says, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. So it's like, yeah, you, you, catching, you catching all this hell now. You, you feel like that now. But there, there's a reward, man. That's it. There's a reward. Though, Terry, wait for it. <laughs> mm hmm we can go back to that song. Oh, you want me to go back? Yeah, just to uh, go to um, Until I Come to the Sanctuary, because I don't think we read that part. Okay, so this is uh, Psalms, Psalms chapter 73 and verse 17, uh, 16 again. It says, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High, then understood I their end. All right, so until you came into this knowledge, man, it was like, man, what the hell is going on, man? Why are these people prospering and this and then the third Esau's on top and he's doing all this wickedness man but now we understand their end man and what does it say if you read it God it says surely thou didst set them in slippery places thou cast them down into destruction mm -hmm. so that's what they're going to be led to man destruction go ahead it says how are they brought into desolation as in a moment they are utterly consumed with terrors mm -hmm. as a dream when one waketh so O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant. I was a beast before thee. And that's really it, man. You know, that's all we got to get on that. But man, showing you, man, that, look, <laughs> it wasn't until we came into this knowledge, man. Now we understand, all right? Mm -hmm. Now we know what the Lord has got set forth, man. And we know that a reward is coming, all right? And we just got to keep a hey, abide in that labor like we read in that Sarah. Yeah. Well, hey, I'll just read the last two verses if I can. This is uh, verse 27, right? Psalm 73 and 27. It says, For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. I have put my trust in the Lord Yahweh power that I may declare all thy works. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. It, it, like King Solomon said, man, everything outside of this is vanity. Vanities of vanities, man. All is vanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says, uh, um, for the whole duty of man is to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and to keep his commandments. You know, that's it. That's the only thing that's profitable here. But that's right. 
Hey, so having that being said, what was what I was edifying? We're gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. The honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who will well peace and salutations to the hope of the light, pushing out his word and all sincerity and the truth. With that, we're gonna say shalom. Shalom.